Want free COD points for Liquid Divinium and Supply Drops? Then check out the link linked in the description below. Yo, what's up guys? It's Hexer. Welcome back to another Black Ops 3 Zombies Revelations video. So what I have for you guys today is going to be step two and part of step three. We haven't even completely figured that one out, but I want to show you guys the progress so you guys can look around. And I'm currently still in game right now. So if you have any suggestions, I will go ahead and ask them for you. But first, let's go ahead and talk about step number two. If you guys enjoyed the video, guys, make sure you guys slap that like button. It does about it is appreciated. And if you are new, if you want to stay up to date with all the different steps make sure you guys subscribe and you turn on notifications so you don't miss those uploads but let's go ahead and talk about it now you need to complete the other steps first so make sure you guys check out those videos for an in-depth tutorial but we have the gravestones you need to shoot the number two was to do the keeper who does his little ritual thing the keeper protector now the number three is you actually need to go inside of the beast the apothecon the giant worm and you want to throw little arnies into these little spawn holes you guys are going to see there's nine of them around the map itself the outer rim you can go ahead and find all of them uh, make sure you remember what order you do them and the way i did it was we went counterclockwise and we made sure to get three now after you throw three in a row you actually end up spawning in three different margwas and you're going to get the three elemental ones so you get the basic one you get the fire one and then you get the void bow one which is the purple one so again make sure you go through all nine of them each one needs to get hit and once you do all nine and you complete this step you kill all the margwas you're going to be able to pick up a film reel which is going to be located on the bridge you guys can see a short clip here of me picking it up so quick recap what you do you go inside the apothecon after you completed all the other steps you want to make sure you throw little arnies inside of the little spawn holes that are located around inside of the apothecon so you do three once you do three three margwas are going to spawn in once you kill the three you do another three little arnies into three different holes and again once you do that three more are going to pop up this time the fire ones and every time you defeat the margwas you're going to get a max ammo so don't even worry about spending them so once you defeat the red ones you're going to go ahead and get three little arnies again from the max ammo you go to three different holes again ones that you haven't hit and you do the same thing again you put all three then you're going to get the void ones you defeat it once you defeat those final three margwas which is going to be a total of nine margwas you have to kill you get the film reel and once you do that you can take it over to kino and then in kino you're actually going to be able to activate it and hear the message so with that said i'm going to go ahead and play the audio message for you guys to hear and then after that we're going to talk about step number three you were supposed to be the fury you are not even on my level alarm in the test facility <laughs> one moment what is it you wanted to see me ludwig sophia yes do come in Sit down, my dear. Have some tea. Is everything all right? No, no. Everything's fine. Drink your tea. I heard a nefarious rumor earlier regarding the field test with Subject 26. Are you feeling all right? Of course. Just straight rumor. Wait, you have arm? you actually been trying to hurt me all these years? My arm. Relax, Sophia. I would never hurt you. You, you know dare I'm put your filthy hands on me! Course, but... And you know I care deeply for you. And that yes, is yes. how we do explosions in space! <coughs> yes, yes, yes. Then you know everything I'm about to do is for your own good. All right, so for step number four, we don't really know the complete steps. All we do know is that there are these bones located around the map. Uh, you need to shoot a rock, a little bone will pop up, and you have to pick it up with an upgraded Marastagua or the Apothecan Servant, whatever way you call it. Uh, so there's going to be one in Shangri-La. There's going to be one here inside Nocturne Tone that you guys can see. There's going to be one located by Origins. This is probably the easiest one to hit. There's going to be one located by Varrock, which is actually going to be by a little waterfall. This one was actually a little bit hard to see. My friend was shooting here, so you guys can see. And then, so you hit it with a regular gun or an upgraded gun, whichever gun you have. And then after you do that, it'll start floating and you hit it with the Marastagua shot. So it picks it up. So once you do that guy, there's actually another one located over by the church that is located in the spawn room. This one was probably the hardest one to find, honestly. Uh, so this one, you got to look inside there from the angle we're at. You got to shoot the rock. 
it'll pop up a bone and then you throw up your apothecan servant shot in there and you pick it up so there's five of them we don't know if there's six people haven't found any other one at the moment this is as far as we have gotten but we'll definitely see if you guys have any suggestions we're up to this point as well in the game that, that i'm in so feel free to leave comments down below if you have any ideas for us to try out but anyways thank you guys so much for watching the video hopefully you guys enjoyed this one if you did make sure you guys drop a like and a favorite it does help out it is appreciated and if you are new if you want to see even more videos like these in the future obviously if you enjoy the content make sure you subscribe and you turn on notifications so you don't miss any upload go ahead and follow me on twitter for more updates news rumors if you have suggestions and of course go ahead and check out my second channel and my gaming channel both linked down below thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time and then our last shot here of another shout out for three subs make sure you guys are engaging dropping comments you might show up in a future video so there we go Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.